This is Pete Cowan's signature drill. He calls it Chinese fighting sticks. It's about applying pressure, turning right, and swinging this club on plane. Can't wait to share this one with you. Now, when Pete Cowan does this, he says, do this with a broom handle or even a flag stick, but realistically, we're not gonna be able to go and whip one off a green or we don't wanna take our broom to the driving range. So just grab your longest club that you've got. So obviously, for most people, this is their driver. If you do carry a belly putter or a chin putter, use that. So that is your longest club. For the first part of this, you're gonna to want to grab the golf club like this. Now, you'll notice my hands are around or just actually in of shoulder width apart. They're sat the opposite away around. So have a look at this on player cam. My glove hand, I can see my knuckles. My non-glove hand, I can see my palm. This will also encourage a slight bend in my trail arm. And this is exactly how we want to start. Now, from this position, as you move down the line, you'll also notice that I'm stood as if I was about to hit a driver. So I'm not doing this drill stood up here. There's a real purpose to this drill. So make sure you've got perfect posture for you. So get into as good a posture as you can. Now, I want you to have a real look at this. We'll go back swing first. What I really got the feeling of this was, and Pete Cowan talks about spiraling motion, sending the pressure in this direction in our body, okay? Now, what I said to people is, I just feel, and this is how I imagined it in my brain, is these angles between my shoulders, my hands, my elbows, and my wrist stay the same, but I just turn my chest and my hips. Now you'll notice as I do that, look how this club starts to set on plane. So if you're really flat, you'd see this disconnect here. We don't wanna see this. If you're really steep, again, you'll see these awkward angles start to be created. I want you to get the idea of where you start is where you just turn and keep this. Now don't lock it in there because that'll put a lot of pressure everywhere else but just have the idea of the first stage here like that just working it up and I feel again I'm going to repeat this bit the distance from my sternum to the middle of the club sort of feels like it stays as constant as it can and I would need to have like maybe 20 30 reps of that just to get the idea of turning as a unit, keeping that club working on plane, spiraling up in that swing. That's what Pete Cowan always says, spiral up. Now the downswing effect of this is absolutely brilliant. It keeps you on plane and you get the idea of whoa, where you wanna put and apply that pressure. Now the next stage to this drill was all around the downswing. Now I forever am teaching golfers to either stop getting a bit stuck inside so really laying the shaft down in this direction or that over the top move. The beauty of this drill and, and the reason why I'm grabbing it in the middle, you really get an understanding and you can see how your shaft is reacting to how you move your body. So if you move your body wrong, you can see how the shaft would move. Now let me show you a couple of examples here. So we've got that setup we had before. We've got that spiral up. And if I got stuck inside and stood up, look how I can really go, oh, well, that's where I'd put like the force now, sort of a glancing blow. Also, if I started over here, the shaft would then sort of have to point back at me. The beauty of what I want you to get the idea of what you're gonna do is we're trying to feel that we load that power back in front of you. Now look how I move. I'm not reacting, I'm not standing, I'm not having to move. My arms are in front, the pressure is here. And then I'm looking to push that through here. And you can really see through that impact zone, the power and the force you apply and how you move the body to do so. I really think this is a great drill to get the understanding of the body. And if you've got a little bit of off season, I've seen a lot of comments here on the channel saying, Alex, I can't get out on the course. Well, this is a drill you should be doing. So let me just run you through that exactly from the top. This is how I want you to imagine the drill looks. So really, this is the bit of the video. You now know what it does, but really pay attention to this. So starting position, we know this. We're spiraling up, we're loading in front, and we're pushing that force through here. Look how I'm swinging this club on plane. Not reacting, not moving. I'm loading it in front and I'm working through that hitting zone. My body 
and arms are working together. So for me, this is one of my favorite drills that a lot of golfers, well, not even a lot, we all should be doing no matter if we're good, new, been playing a long time, whatever level we are, this is gonna have massive benefits to your golf swing. Now on the golf course, you can't imagine that, but the little trick that I took from this, and I love it when you get this, is imagine there's a laser pointing out of here. Now what I would say by that is think of that number 45. So I want you to imagine you're sort of setting that Chinese fighting stick at 45 degrees. You're turning it, you're putting it in front, and then you're allowing that butt end of the club to sort of point back up your left hand side just here. The exact same motion we just had with that club, with that split hand. So just really watch this. This is exact feelings that I take on every single shot. Whew. I don't know, it just feels like I'm not fighting the club. Look how good that is. Look how good that is and just look how far this has gone. I'm over the moon with that in the cold. 282. I'm gonna say one thing right now to leave you in this video. I just felt like I wasn't fighting the club. And that's what I would say is the best bit of this video.